Hello again, and in this video, loft conversion saga, we're actually starting to build, and the first thing that we did was put the floor in. We've um, removed all the old uh, room, uh, we've uh, cleaned out between the joists, it's a filthy job, it really is, and now we've started to hoik up materials up to the loft, and these great big beams then need to sit between the outer wall and there's a middle wall that runs sort of across the property, it's called. And on top of that is a wooden beam called a wall plate. So um, the, the big timbers that's going in is for a, a floor that's isolated from the ceiling below. So we're not adding onto the joists that are there, we're putting them in between the joists that are there, but they're sitting on, on structural walls. So you just saw me there add some packers. So what I'm starting to do on this first section of floor, because we have each end and then the middle, the first section of floor, I'm just getting the beams up. I'm uh, checking the distancing. I'm checking that I can get them in at 400 centers, which is a structural calcs. Um, and I'm making packers and putting packers on these wall plates, basically where the roof meets the wall and the wall in the center. You just see my foot resting on it there. Um, so I'm getting the beams in. This was on my own. This was the first eight beams. Um, just checking everything out and then you'll see me start to build noggins now noggins are the things that go between these structural beams and what they do is they stop the beams twisting when you load them up and also if there's a fire they stop the beam twisting and things collapsing so um, uh, you're supposed to have these noggins uh, if you've got a two meter span and no more than two meters without a noggin these are 3.5 meters and I put two noggins in um, so you see me now start to lay the beams up on their edge and I'm putting noggins in as I go um, and that's why I got all the beams in because I could actually stand on the beams more safely than the old ceiling um, and, and do this work so noggins are going in right now and there's a little you didn't see it there's a little cheer uh, the next thing I have to do is I have to put wire mesh and I have to staple it to these beams as to form a cradle or a hammock and into that will go a rock wall type insulation there it goes this is itchy as anything face mask on i wish i'd worn a jumper because it made me arms itch this modern stuff's a lot better than the old stuff but in that goes and then floorboards on top um, now i've got help luke and we're starting to put rafters in what i'm actually doing in this section of video is i'm putting a structural beam in on the left hand side just out of shot what luke's doing is he's putting a new doubling up the rafters to reinforce rafters are the beams that are in your roof structure and and luke's just doubling up you can see the new pieces of timber because they look really shiny um and you'll see me disappearing in and out of shop because i'm putting a structural beam in from that brickwork that you can see across because we've got a structural wall that forms the side of our stairwell in the house so there's a beam going in sideways which then i will put beams in across to that central wall plate so there it is there's that great big beam it's a monster absolute monster um what you can see on the old rafters on the floor old um joists on the floor is i've got a bit of a wardrobe that came out the side walls and i'm using that to walk on because it's a lot safer than than not so I'm just putting, um, just getting that structural beam ready and then in a minute I'm going to start putting joist hangers. Here we are, these are joist hangers and you just slot your joists into them. Um, the bit of timber I've got my foot on used to carry the old electrics but it's also supporting the old rafters. So I only chop it out a section at a time because I'm worried about the ceiling below coming down. So here we are, adding each beam, I'm adding the nog noggins as we go along, hanging it off that great big structural beam that's going sideways huge piece of structure that is um if ever there's a nuclear war i'm standing under that um, those two beams that you've just seen me put in close together it's just because the spacing of the joists underneath were different this is the other side of the of the loft space same process i've built a big beam i'm putting all these noggins in and now i'm going to start laying the beams in again i'm standing on old bits of wardrobe because it just spreads the load on the old bit old um old ceiling joists so in it goes Lots of bending over, crawling about. The the studs that you can see are um, bolts that tie two beams together to make them a structural pair. Um, now you can see me adding uh, joists in, uh, sorry, rafters in. Uh, Rico the dog, is he follows me everywhere, to be honest. So I'm adding new rafters because I'm going to close this space off and I won't be able to get to it later. So um, you can see that floorboards are down now. There's a couple of joists knocking about and you'll see those being used in the central section. Here here we are lifting up the central section floor. Um, here I'm just lifting the floorboards, putting them back for now so I can walk on them. 
Um, but lifting, taking the nails out, cleaning up the uh, structure that's there, which is pretty much going to stay, I have to say. Um, but, and I'm going to put joists, new joists across um, between them, which are, are much bigger. Um, but I can walk on this for now. Um, gives me some work access. Um, so that's that done and then now you'll see me starting to add fiddle lip bits of joists at the side so where the old staircase is which you can see at the end of that I need a new pair of structural beams um, here in they go the first one goes in um, here I'm chopping out old roof structures and I'm worried about the ceiling below so I'm putting them in tying them back together so they all support each other and then you can see the joists going in uh, again off a wall plate up to this big structural beam onto those new hangers. Um, and then here's the other side of the stairwell. The stairwell will get taken care of later once the new stairs are in. At this point, it was my only way of access. Um, and now I'm just gonna start reinforcing that beam that comes across to get it all the way to the structural wall, which is the side of the stairwell that you can see. Um, so I'm just notching pieces out, putting noggins in, screwing it together, massive screws, straps, um, all kinds of structures to make sure that that beam that comes across is continuous. And there you have it.